Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. I don't know what's going on in 2024, but it just seems like everybody is coming out and exposing everybody. Now, the singer Kelly Price recently came forth and she was venting and she went on a rant and she kind of went on a whole tangent about the industry and how she was treated. And she said some things that actually caught my attention and I first saw Larry Reed live post about it. But the reason why she was ranting is because she was getting some criticism, particularly over her husband's birthday video. She uploaded a video celebrating her husband's birthday and some people in the comments felt like her husband wasn't grateful enough or he wasn't excited enough and they were criticizing it and Kelly felt a way about it. It's my baby's birthday and I wanted to celebrate him so much. Now, hurry up. And he it's told weekend. me that the candles are gonna burn out, but he told me he wanted a, what kind of cake did you tell me you wanted? A cake that don't have uh, wax and nothing all over it. Okay, but you told um, me you wanted, you told me you wanted roasted pecans on your cake and you wanted a cinnamon toast to crunch birthday cake. Okay, so make your wish. If you're making your wish, you don't have to tell us what it is. You made your wish? I didn't say happy birthday. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's written by Kelly Price, so don't try it, all right? Thank you very much. That's not the Stevie Wonder version, and it's not the traditional version. Baby, blow your candles out. I love you. I gotta you. make another wish now. Okay, make another. Why? It's the same wish, right? Because you did out of sequence, no. Damn it. Now, Kelly saw the comments, and she was clapping back at people. I'm not even gonna go through everything that was said, but... One of her comments was reported. She said that she was responding to somebody who was harassing her, but her response was reported and she had an issue with that. And some people were like, wait a minute, Kelly, you're supposed to be a woman of God. Why are you responding like this? And another person said, don't let these people get you out of your character. And I saw this one commenter said, I was going to say, is this Sunday best judge gospel singing Kelly Price? Who Lord deliver. And she said something that was very wild. She said, yes, Lord, deliver us from pastor O's and pedos. Deliver us from self-righteous congregants who send their money to liars and pimps in plain sight. Then come deliver me. The nerve you have. I was the only artist slash judge on Sunday best that wasn't effing someone else's spouse, fornicating or messing with kids and boys, but you have smoke for me? Whoa. F out of here, you ignorant church going brain dead a-hole. I'm a child of a preacher, three plus generations, and I have no desire to be named among the gospel community. Wonder why? You don't, cause you already know what it is and are content to be a part of the cover up that has been happening for generations. My advice, get off my page now or prepare to have me tear you a new one every time you are stupid enough to come to my page with your self-righteous piety. And you stand corrected. I'm an R&B artist who chooses to honor God in my R&B career. Check your gospel artists who settle for gospel careers because they weren't good enough to compete in the deep waters of mainstream. Names need not to be called. You already know who they are, clown. Whew. Well, this was a lot to unpack and Kelly didn't stop there. In fact, she uploaded a whole live and she was still ranting and going off on people, but also she narrowed down who she could have been talking about in that particular post. Now, Kelly was a judge on Sunday Best and during her season, she was judging alongside other gospel artists like Erica Campbell from Mary Mary and Jonathan McReynolds and also Kirk Franklin was the host. When she said in her post that she was the only judge that wasn't doing anything crazy, it leads other people to believe that maybe the other three on the show were doing something crazy. And there were different judges from previous seasons as well. So some people are speculating it could be them too. But either way, the allegations that Kelly dropped were pretty heavy, especially the allegation of somebody messing with kids. Allegedly, that is a very, very serious allegation. And 
I think it's not wise or right for Kelly to throw that around if she's not gonna pinpoint who it is. Because now people are speculating and pointing blame at the other judges and they could be innocent for all we know. So I don't think that was wise. And it seems like Kelly was using that as a deflection because she was getting called out for her own rude behavior. But still, Kelly doubled down on her comments and this is what she said. My soul belongs to God because I haven't sold it to anybody. It's not mine to sell. These people out here selling their souls, they're selling things that don't belong to them. I'm not even about calling out names. People can assume what they want to assume. Wasn't but for an artist. On <laughs> the show that I was a judge on. I was on a show with Kirk Franklin, Erica Campbell, Jonathan McReynolds, and there was me. My husband was with me at work every day. And I'm going to leave that right there. I know a lot. I said a lot of things today. I'm not backing off from any of them. I'm one of the very few artists who have been able to record and tour with both gospel and R&B artists. And the lives that are lived by the people that you worship are despicable and disgusting. My heart was broken when I saw the things that happened on the road with a lot of these artists. Doing shows with these artists, all kinds of stuff. My heart was broken because there was still a part of me that believed that holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. That's biblical also. It took for me to tour and to work and to do shows with these artists that call themselves gospel artists and preachers who tried to get in my bed. That's another story. You won't get it for free. Refuse to give that for free. Some preachers that's all over your timeline and in your YouTube right now. That if they could have gotten me in my bed or in their bed, they would have. But I don't play those games because fuck a man, I fear God. I fear God. I fear God. I was not feeling well at all today and I have been attacked on so many levels. And literally, I woke up to drink water, <laughs> drink tea. My husband woke me up to make sure that I was feeling okay. That one that y'all said it looks so evil and looks so mean, F you. He takes better care of me than my parents did. My desire for real is that in the end, that God looks at me and says that he is proud of me. So what people think of me means nothing. What people think of me means nothing. Curses aren't nice. Curse words aren't nice, but they're words and they can be forgiven. Y'all need to be more concerned about the actions of the people that you look up to hmm. those are the things that are going to be harder to forgive and still make heaven if you believe in heaven so that's what kelly had to say and that was a lot i know a lot of people are going to hear this and speculate on who she could have been talking about we don't know but i will say this i do feel like this year is coming with a different kind of energy and I don't know if the energy is good or bad but I noticed that a lot of people are starting to get exposed it doesn't matter who it is it doesn't matter what industry they're in they're getting exposed and the gospel industry doesn't seem to be off limits at this point 
T.D. Jakes has been under scrutiny for some of the allegations that have been out against him. So it seems like nobody is safe. If you're doing something wrong in the dark, you will get exposed. And this is why it's very important for people who represent God and claim to be Christians to live right. It's very important because the world is watching and the world doesn't take Christians seriously. And I can't blame them because a lot of people who claim to be Christians aren't living how they are supposed to live. And it's very important that we live correctly because you're not representing yourself, you're representing God. So if what Kelly is saying is true about some of these gospel artists, they're going to have to really get it together because whatever they do in the dark will come to light. Whatever they sow, they will reap. And every action has a consequence. This doesn't mean that we should expect these people to be perfect because they're not perfect. We all need God at the end of the day because we all make mistakes, but you can't be out here purposely sinning and hurting people and doing wrong and living recklessly and thinking you'll get away with it and nobody's going to check you. It just doesn't work that way. You have to live right. But anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.